Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an error with the 0xC004C003 um, activation error on your Windows computer. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So I do want to put one big disclaimer right up front. If you are on this tutorial looking to get some free copy of Windows or you're using some illegitimate product key in order to activate your copy of Windows, this tutorial is not for you. Just turn off right now. Go to somebody else's video because this tutorial is not going to work for you in any way. This tutorial is for people that have either purchased a legitimate copy of Windows 10, they have purchased a retail copy, or they've upgraded through the appropriate Microsoft channels from Windows 7 or Windows 8 in which many people have acquired Windows 10 in that way and that's perfectly acceptable but if you're on this tutorial looking for some free copy of Windows and you're trying to get it activated this tutorial is not for you and neither is my channel just don't look on my channel for anything else it doesn't have anything about that so we're gonna jump into it for everybody else who is still hopefully on this video and we're gonna start by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time you want to type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. So now you want to just type in SLMGR space and then you want to do a minus sign and then just type re, so R E A R M, so rearm, so SLM gr space minus sign rearm then you want to hit enter on your keyboard one time should say that it has been run you're gonna to have to restart your computer I did just run this about a couple minutes ago so that's why it's giving me a little error here but in most cases it should not say that and it should just say that you'll need to restart your computer so again would recommend just restarting your computer after you run that once you're done with that, you want to go back and restart your computer again, check to see if your version of Windows is now activated. If you're still having problems, you can go ahead and open up the start menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back with regedit. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now we are in the registrator here, so I'm just going to quickly back up for a minute. So before you do anything with the registry, I would suggest making a backup. So just go up to the File tab at the top, export it, and then just save it to a safe location. And then if you ever wanted to go back, if you made a mistake or something, just do File Import. And that's basically how you just would import the file. Pretty straightforward. So now that we're in the registry editor, you want to go to the H key local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand it. And then you want to go down to software, same thing. And now you want to go down to a Microsoft, same deal as before. And now you want to go down to Windows NT. So I'm going to have to scroll down a little bit here. And then there should be a folder once you've expanded Windows NT. This says current version. On the right side, there should be something that says product ID. Now I'm probably going to blur this out, not necessarily because this is a product key, which it's not. And I think I'm going to confuse people if I did not do it. So I'm actually doing you guys a favor by blurring it out. So if I open up the product ID here, this is a generic Windows 10 product ID for what version of Windows 10 I'm running. So each version of Windows 10 has its own unique Windows ID. So if you're running home, professional, enterprise, it's a different value data you're going to be putting in here. So I would suggest taking note of whatever's currently in here, save it as a notepad file or whatnot just in case you made a mistake, then you probably wouldn't even need to back up the registry, but go online, see if the value data in this field is the same thing that's showing up on the internet. So go on Google, type in Windows 10 default product ID, and then for whatever version of Windows 10 you're running, I'm running Windows 10 Pro. But like I said, there's many versions of Windows 10. I don't want to tell you guys it's this product key or I show you this product key and then everybody assumes they're running Windows 10 Pro, because unfortunately that's kind of viewers I sometimes will attract and they'll get confused and then they have the wrong product ID in here and then they'll say something isn't working. 
and definitely it won't be working if you're trying to do a Windows 10 Home ID when you're running Windows 10 Pro. So I hope you guys understand that. Should be pretty straightforward though. I would suggest once you're done with everything, just left click on OK to close out of this, close out of the registry, restart your computer. Hopefully that's resolved the problem. If you're still experiencing problems, you're more than welcome to try and perform a system restore. You could try and run a system integrity scan as well. I mean, there's a few different things you could do. You could also actually go ahead and try and call Microsoft or your computer manufacturer. I mean, you do have a lot of different avenues to explore, but I do hope I was able to help you guys out with this tutorial. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.